SMT Nation, we back Nation. We've got really big updates out of AT&T. The 5G plus C-band situation is really starting to heat up. The network's getting better. More and more places getting more access to more spectrum, getting more capacity. And this is a welcome signal that things are on the up and up for AT&T. I know a lot of people have been down on the network. Uh, rumor and speculation, as well as you know, commentary from the, the executives at AT&T that things weren't going to be pacing up for wireless not necessarily true i think the way that this is framed is really important let me share the details and tell you guys where these things are happening and what exactly is happening all right so if you appreciate what we do here on the channel i appreciate all your updates news commentary testing that type of stuff uh, show us some love and buy us a coffee the real smt buy me coffee link is in the description there's other ways to support us as well you could check out our partner mint mobile using our partner link mintmobile.com forward slash need could net you an incredible amount of savings on some of their great value plans. All right, so I still see that a lot of the, you know, the deflation promo pricing is still active based on the site. So if you're looking for a really good deal on wireless, they can provide it for you. Use our partner link. You'll be supporting the channel. Okay, so let me give you guys the update. AT&T's 5G Plus connection. You guys will see the logo on your phone when you test it or when you connect to it. And uh, that's their C-band N77 or their millimeter wave. All right, now specifically with respect to the C-band, we've seen a bandwidth increase across many different cities in the nation. All right, so we've seen previously, you know, average throughput speeds on 5G plus with C-band between like 100 and 300 megabits per second range for the downlink. And for uplink, you know, depending on your market, you may be seeing anywhere between like 10 and 30 megabits per second uplink. Now that can vary from place to place, different OEM vendors, within each market, whether it's Ericsson or Nokia. But according to sources in the Philadelphia market, they're indicating excessive speed increases over the course of the last 24 to 48 hours. We're seeing speed increases between 50 and 75% for the downlink and then throughputs on the uplink increasing by 100% or more, right? So the C-band, which is a 3700 frequency with bandwidth at 40 megahertz for AT&T previously, they get bumped up to 80 megahertz by clearing the rest of their spectrum. So clearing the B block, giving back the A block to Verizon was a net plus 40 uh, megahertz in bandwidth. The densification process within the Philadelphia market continues to be an ongoing project. Many different types of CRAN and small cell configurations and constructions have been ongoing, including millimeter wave constructions around different high traffic areas. One such area being like around the Red Bull Arena, where we're seeing speeds pushing gigabit speed. Uh, most people kind of, you know, with the AT&T network, seeing ranges of 800 to 900 megabits per second. So I think between the C-band increase in bandwidth, I think with DoD getting cleared and also being utilized and upgraded and the network getting those radios and antennas, you, know, you start to see an additional 40 megahertz in the 3450 frequency, along with the existing 80 megahertz, puts you at 120 megahertz. Right, so that's going to probably start pushing you into the gigabit per second speed territory, you know, as long as they can aggregate within that band of N77. So you get the intraband aggregation between 3450 and the 3700. You got yourself a really nice capacitive experience. It's all going to be about cell splits moving forward in Philly. More CRAN, more small cells, more 10 gig fiber circuits, millimeter wave, you know, continuing to kind of be utilized where it's required. Folks, AT&T is not done, and anyone trying to insinuate a demise within the wireless network makes absolutely no sense. There is no fact or proof of this anywhere. Sure, there may be certain places that may not be upgraded as quickly, but in a place like Philadelphia where they have extreme market share and they have a really good fiber footprint, this is the type of thing you can expect to see. Hopefully, other places start to get the same attention, the same modernization, and the same love. But if you're in the Philly, Philly area, let me know what you've been seeing. And if you've been connecting to DOD to any extent, let us know. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, hashtag ATT, hashtag 5G. Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You're all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. And just to kind of share some of that speed test results, here's what we're seeing. A very common speed test. 600 down, 85 up. Really good stuff from AT&T. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.